This video describes pathology to the lateral elbow, specifically at the common extensor tendon. The bony anatomy review will be as follows. Highlighted here is the anterior surface of the humerus, the anterior lateral surface of the radial head, and the anterior surface of the ulna, which will not be described in this video. Highlighted in blue is the common extensor tendon insertion to the lateral epicondyle, and in green is the radial head. Over the radial neck would be the supinator muscle. Over the supinator muscle would be the common extensor tendon. And then over the common extensor tendon would be the brachioradialis. In this clip, the proposition is as shown on the screen. This image shows a normal common extensor tendon insertion to the lateral epicondyle, which is highlighted here, followed by the highlighted lateral aspect of the radial head, highlighted here, followed by the common extensor tendon, which is highlighted here. Observe the only insertion is taking place in the highlighted segment in blue. A transverse image of the common extensor tendon over the level of the radial head shows a thin, dark, hypoechoic line representing articular cartilage. Superficial to that would be the common extensor tendon. Highlighted here is the articular cartilage, giving us an idea of what part of the common extensor tendon we're viewing. In this image, we can clearly see a large joint effusion. Here is the lateral epicondyle, followed by the lateral aspect of the radial head, and then something we did not see in our normal images, highlighted here in blue, would be the effusion. Less noticeable is the full thickness tear to the common extensor tendon upon compression. The brachioradialis muscle herniates into the void that is created by the full thickness tear. In this image, the fibrillar pattern of the common extensor tendon is now dark and hypoechoic and loses organization. Also inside are large calcifications peppering the insertion of the common extensor tendon to the lateral epicondyle in this picture. This clearly represents diffuse calcific tendinosis. The next image shows a large full thickness tear of the common extensor tendon to the lateral epicondyle. Here we also see a bony irregularity such as an osteophyte or loose body. Obtaining a transverse image of this tear is also important to confirm volume loss. Highlighted here is the lateral epicondyle using this hyperechoic bony osteophyte as a landmark. We turn the probe from long axis to transverse also indicating a full thickness tear.